most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. Hi everyone, back in Death Valley this week. This will be the last of the Death Valley videos. This is a place called Saratoga Springs. So like a spring way in the middle of the desert. Kind of interesting to see. Pretty long hike up into these mines, some high altitude mines. Two different ones we're going to show you this week there. Um, one at Saratoga and one called the Big Four. So yeah, quite a ways up in the mountain. There's uh, lots of cool artifacts up there and uh, remnants of the ore chutes and tramways and whatnot left up in still in the, in Death Valley. So we hiked up into them. It was a little bit of a cooler day. It was only um, about 10 degrees. Uh, that was an uh, air-powered winch uh, up in the, and this is the Big Four mine there. They have a tram going down in a bucket and stuff. This is another mine that Saratoga that is a talc mine. So the first one we visit to is a gold mine. This is a talc mine. This is an incline shaft going down into the talc mine and you see the big wheel still in the bottom of there and that was kind of an interesting one to go into. So here is a skip car, a really nice shape that was in that talc mine and you see the white talc there. So cool show for you this week. Okay we're in a place called Saratoga Springs. We just walked by the springs. That's the spring and we're heading towards a mine called the Saratoga Mine and we found this so we thought we'd go up there and have a look. I'm not sure, it looks like there's an incline shaft there. And then also, there's an added up there by the looks of things, so see what we can find. So yes indeed, there's an incline shaft here, and we went down there and it's been, it's plugged. It may have been blasted, I don't know, hard to tell. The old bin. Well, we're starting to see some pretty cool stuff here, so the Saratoga and two of the mines are right close by. I think uh, there's two of them here that we're looking at. So, you know, here it is, middle of February, and I don't know, it's like uh, pretty warm. We're sweating just walking along here. I can hardly imagine being here in the middle of July. <laughs> this is the coldest time of the year to be up here. <laughs> so it's definitely a good time to go for a hike up here, because you can't drive here either, so. Well, that looks pretty cool. Well, let's uh, do a little investigation to see what we can find. There's a head frame, there's a bin there, and just across the valley there's another bin, and there's, there's more mines up top of the hill there. We went down this cross cut. We were a little nervous because the first we heard that all the mines in Death Valley were sealed off. I didn't really think that was likely, but so we went down the first mine and it, and it's collapsed. And it looks like maybe they blasted a little ways in, and then we looked down here from the top and it looked like there was just a solid wall of rock. I don't know. Maybe they did blast all these mines shut, but there we go. It carries on. Yeah, as far as we can see, so. Right on, so there's no problem getting in this one. It looked pretty good. I'll just wait for Sharon to come down here and join me. And uh, we'll show you this Death Valley mine, which um, it's not even on our maps. It's just on the uh, quite close to the Saratoga. We don't even know what it's called. Uh. Huh. Oh, yeah. Cool. Alright, we figured there was quite a bit of development to the right because we could see... Yeah, as you can see, there was a bunch of collapsed stopes. Okay. Yeah, more talc mines. And they used these to make uh, tiles and stuff in the 30s, and they started. And they mined them up into the 70s, the last one in this whole area. Those are newer dynamite boxes. Oh. There's a little skip to the surface. I don't think it's going to go any deeper than this. Hmm. Cool little mine. Ah, oh, yeah. There's one of those raises we can see to the surface. There was kind of a bit of a cliff up top there, and there was a bunch of holes that are kind of plugged off. So the little raises go to the up there to the surface. Yeah. 
an air line here. Well, two lines now, so probably, I don't know, just one line. Air line. Fairly close to Saratoga Springs here, so they can get water for their drills here. I don't expect it's going to go too far, but oh well. Wow. The stope up there. We're doing the research. Apparently, there's a fair bit of this tall cloth, but there's not much a market. There's no market for it, so um, could be mine again one day. I don't know about California. Pretty hard to mine in California, I guess. Yeah, so we're just seeing a bunch of stopes further up. Huh. So they can tell they worked from this side. They drilled it. Stuff's pretty hard, you know. It's fairly stable. Looks good. Mm hmm. Mm, there's a interesting kind of a. What is it? Well, maybe not that old. Or someone's shirt. Oh, pretty warm in here, but not like stifling hot. All right, so that's the end of this part here. Yeah, see they're getting into some other material here. Out of the talc. But you wonder why it couldn't go wider. It doesn't seem like it's a vein, but what do I know? All right, let's have a look up that little Rays and see if we can find anything up there. Okay, so here's our little cubby hole that we saw that they dropped the ore down. And uh, there's some crap there. It might be on a miner's cat. I can't remember what it looked like now. Uh, and the little rays going up this way. Getting quite humid up here. Ooh, really humid up here. Not likely to go anywhere. Oh, I wouldn't believe the humidity. It goes crazy up here. Like a sauna. Alright, way cooler down the main hall level. Huh? Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it's like cool right here and up there. So like just like a sauna. It's hot and very humid. So just a little rays there. Let's go up the other branch. Alright, just at the first uh, branch to the right, waiting for Sharon to come along. I see her light there. And there you are, pretty neat, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, well this left side branch didn't go too far. Kind of mended in a couple of rays as I went up. I don't know, that was An old water uh, or water fuel can, I guess. We're checking out the little cross cut above on the way out. There's a can of Mazzola. <laughs> it appears to be collapsed, but I thought, well, there might be a cross cut here before the collapse. Oh, and there is. Yeah, so we're underneath the stope here. I know it was an open stope under the surface at one time, but it's kind of gotten all collapsed in the meantime. Really soft material in here. And this doesn't appear to go very far. Although we're getting into some harder rock. Hey, you don't need much light when it's this way. Yeah, that's it. We're out of the talc there. You can see the layer of it the way it but this, this is where I'm having a little trouble with this whole, understand this whole mining thing here. Why didn't they just continue to mine right here? Um, this is obviously pretty good talc in here, it looks to me. Then they kept going until they got to there, but why did they dig further? Why didn't they just dig this stuff? I don't know, I don't get that. So that's going to be it then for this guy. Let's go to the Saratoga. So there's a skip car that was out of this mine, pretty nice shape, probably weighs about 500 pounds. It was riveted originally, and it just uh, went up and down these rails here. And this is kind of a little bit of an unusual setup here. And I think this part was built first and the bin maybe built later, because um, the way it worked is the ore went up this skip and it dumped into this little bin, which wasn't that big. And then from the bin, they uh, loaded into rail cars and then it went out and into this bigger bin. So I'm thinking they probably just used this little bin to begin with. And as the operations sort of expanded, then they uh, added a bigger bin because it's kind of an extra step here. 
that wasn't necessary, but this probably wasn't contemplated at the time that they built it. There's the mine we were just at over there. We went down that incline and we're just on our way up to the Saratoga. You can see him behind there. That's where the motor was and the bin was there. So uh, they may have had a tram here. That almost looks like a part of a tram tower maybe. And you look up here and there's the mine. So Sharon's heading up to the mine. So we'll go up there and have a look there and it looks like just above it. All right, so yeah, we're uh, hiking up to the White Cap Mine. So that's the next one on our list. So yeah, it's been uh, a lot of fun uh, coming here this time of year and getting away from the snow. So this is about, you know, this is a warm summer day in most locations. It's the middle of winter here, so. I think there's a good chance this might have been the main hall here. Oh, it looks like a shaft going down. Maybe. I know anything about mines. Nope. I guess I don't know anything about mines. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, this looks cool. Well, Jeff Williams says there's nothing to see in Death Valley. Mines are all boarded up. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it looks good. Can even sit in here and have a little rest. It's a little cooler in here. But I can't imagine being here when it was 140 degrees or whatever it gets to here. This being the coldest time of the year. It's warm enough. Maybe we're just weenies. Looks like it's pretty interesting in here. Well, we got a camp in here. Couldn't ya? Well, you need is a blanket or something. It'd be lots warm. If we're going to sleep in a mine, this would be a good one. <laughs> A lot more comfortable than outside, I'm sure. Two stands, stands, there's nothing else there? Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, let's continue down the main hall level then. Or what we think is the main hall level. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Lots of cribbing in here. Hmm. Looks like it was kind of like a pillar in the middle, but didn't really work. <laughs> it looks like some of the mines that we've seen in other places would have like a pillar in the middle. But the pillar failed, so then they had to do a bunch of timbering to keep it up. So it was a dumb idea. Alright. No. Uh, bottom of Death Valley there. Let's see, it's a pretty wide valley here. And there's just an old road going across the desert there. And uh, this is next valley is when we're figuring we're going to see the Superior on. So it'll be a bit of a hike. We're going to meet uh, Sharon at the bottom of this wash here. And then uh, we're going to go up that next major valley. And that's where the Superior is. It says it's only 630 meters from here, but you know, it all kind of depends on what the elevation is, right? If that's tough or not. Hello there, Ghostbuster. <laughs> oh, that's our radio check. Looking like a nice set of, uh, a nice set of ladders or stairs that are going down. No, oh, they're ladders. There was a head frame here and they were trying to dismantle it and it burned so I'm thinking maybe the government made them dismantle it. They said okay they'll dismantle it and then all of a sudden it caught up fire. <laughs> By some strange coincidence. Sort of like them old hotels, you know. Two guys two fires in old hotels. So this might be kind of pretty interesting. Hmm. A little cooler down here too, Sharon, but yeah, there's a cross cut here and I can see light um, at the other side, so that's probably that added I intersected. Looking the other way, I don't know, looks, looks like it goes down. And then going down, there's ladders going down, looks pretty good. 
I'm thinking you're probably going to want to come down here. It's nice and cool right here even. I wish I would have brought my pack with me. I would have a little bit of lunch down here. I can see a daylight coming up here, so I can see that top of that decline beside you. It comes down to a big stope here, but it intersects. Okay. <sighs> Oh, well, there's another decline. Also, from the other side of that crosscut, there's another decline. <laughs> so all these declines, they all meet up down here. But the one I went down is way by far the easier one to go down because it's got a nice ladder going down. It's not as steep. Yeah, it looks like a timber shaft down there. Nice level here. Whew. Hercules powder box, nice one too. But I gotta walk three flex back to the side by side, so any souvenirs have to be pretty freaking awesome to make it worth one. Wow. Check this out. And then there's a cross cut level that goes both ways and then it kind of keeps going down still. It's quite bright in here with all the white walls and everything. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of declines coming down here. The rails block there. Oh, and it continues on this way into a stoke. It's actually nice in here because much cooler than on the. And there's another decline coming down. So this is almost like. Not maybe the. Probably the main hall level, might not be the bottom hall level. Yeah. They bind several. Now it's getting warmer coming this, going this way now, so I'm probably going to end here. Where's that? That's usually how you can feel it start getting a lot warmer or damper than you know. The air's not moving down through there. So it's likely to end just like that. Oh yeah, the air coming from the bottom. The stove continues down there. Nothing there. We'll check this other stove out here. Oh yeah, there's another hole level right there. Looks even neater than this one. Wow. Big room here. Oh wow. Stop there. I would be not be surprised if they didn't go too far this way either. Maybe more substantial on the bottom, I don't know. There we got a split here. And that's it, I guess. But it carries on down further, so we're noticing there's about three declines on the outside. We've gotten to the bottom of all of those, but we're still continuing on the main hall level. So we'll see if the how extensive it is on the bottom. It might not be that extensive. <laughs> Pretty neat though. Talc's not very uh, stable, as you can tell. I bet you we can go down there and join the main hall a little. Bit of a trail here. Let's just see. They didn't bring the ore up, so if it went down, that would have been track here. Oh, there's looks there's some dendrites there. Which looks like fossils, but they're not. They're a mineral formation you see in zinc. Oh yeah, sure. 
Doing some work. I can go this way. Oh well. There we are. So this is kind of like a face in this area. Hmm. A little track ended here. Another little pocket there that was mine better there. And then we're down back to the main part of the decline going down. This is where we came. Getting steeper. Because, yeah, she might be plugged there. Or that could be another level. Uh, a level here, sort of. I don't know, sort of, there is. Have a look. Mm, not sure much further, that's going to go down there. Going this way. Maybe you're going down this way than going down the ladder. Yeah, I bet. I don't think this is as steep as the ladder. A little easier to film. It's the dusty stuff. Try not to stir it up too much. That looks plugged there. I'm going to have to crawl back up here. Mm, look at the way this deposit. Right against the whole rock there. Pretty cool. Looks like all these mines that are still a fair bit of material left. It almost seems kind of like graphite a little bit. Now, when we get through to the main level this way, we gotta go back up and down the ladder. Question. A little skinny there. How steep is it? Hmm. It's gonna be a little tough. Hmm, 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 hmm. A little too tough. Let's see. It's nailed. Yep. Oh, squeezing through there is gonna be kind of tough. Oh, I think I can do it. It's gonna be a lot quicker. Yeah, I can squeeze through there, can I? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so it's starting to get a little steeper as we go down into this. It, uh, not too bad. We've got these things you can hold on up here. That's pretty handy. You can hold on to these. Pretty cool. Oh, there we go, Union Carbide. Oh, it goes two ways. Wow, look at those drums. Pretty interesting looking drum, huh? Hmm. Portland, Oregon. Yeah, I don't know what those that was. Hmm. Mm, carbide. Hmm. Yeah. A few footprints in here, so not the first ones that have ever been in here. Oh, you know, see some more passes. Or not ore passes, or shoots. There, that's that's the one that I decided I was going to squeeze down through. But I found out it was too fat, so I had to walk down the shaft. Alright, let's go on this main hall up a little further. Look at that. Cool, eh? <laughs> right through. Hmm. Well, that's it for this one. Hmm. Well, hey, well, this was kind of fun, so this is our kind of second day of exploring in, in uh, Death Valley. We've seen some pretty cool mines and interesting landscapes and certainly enjoying the weather. 
You know, it's nice and cool in this mine. We'll take it. No point bitching about the heat when it's like the coldest day of the year. <laughs> Alright, so that's all we can show you from Death Valley. Oh, not from Death Valley, from Saratoga Springs. Alright, we'll climb back up and uh, join Sharon up at the surface. So, this is uh, Saratoga Spring. It's actually a fair bit bigger than this, but yeah, it carries on like this. It's got some kind of fish in it that it's not found anywhere else, just here in Death Valley. Yeah, we're back in Death Valley. We're going to a mine called the Big Four. And uh, you can't drive to it. And in Death Valley, you can't use a side-by-side -side either. So we've got to walk about two miles and uh, about 800 feet up. A little pile of ore here. Probably maybe a little gray of ore. Now you can kind of see it in a pile here near this camp. So what they had is you see this big steel spud here was an anchor and then they had uh, a bucket, like a tram bucket. You still see the cables there hooked up to there so they brought the ore down like that from that part. They also had a bin on the other part so I don't know. Yeah, so you see, you see some ore here that they mine, and here's the bucket that they used on this tram line. And something I had not seen before. A little interesting, kind of interesting. Well, that's a homemade, huh, had a dumper on the back. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Huh. Yeah, well this, the bucket set up on here, and this was to open and close the, the flap. It's a homemade hinge there, out of a chain. They welded on there. That's the closed position. Um, like I said, that's welded, so it's homemade. Not really old. Because it's after 1920, because it was welded. <laughs> Interesting homemade contraption. Just to bring the ore down on the cable from up there. So here's a pretty nice sample of some ore. Yeah, see it's quite black, dirt, quite heavy too, so I'm thinking there's quite a bit of silver in it. That's definitely, or definitely, I think it's silver ore. Very heavy. Well, let's go and have a look at this little portal. See if there's anything exciting in here. Huh, oh, there's a right hand branch going this way. Like an old dynamite box there. And, uh, oh, okay, it goes up into some stopes. So uh, let's, we'll go up there later. Let's just have a look at the, the main hall level first. And then we'll check this out. I don't think it's going to be too extensive. You know, it doesn't look like a, a huge amount mined here, but I can see some pretty cool stuff. Um, there's probably an ore card in here. I'm trying to decide whether this is a 24 gauge. It almost looks like it's 24 inches across. Keep out. Uh oh, we can't go in here. There's a sign that says keep out. Hmm. Huh. So that was a compressed air tank. They would have used that. They had a locomotive maybe in here. Use that part of the locomotive. Hmm. So we've got, oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to go up there and crawl up and through there and check all that out. Let's see how far we can get in here. Wow, maybe not that far. <laughs> this looks like it might have had quite a few different incarnations. Yeah, yeah, this could be a pretty small mine. But this mine can't be cool. Wonder what they've done with their ore cart. Well, I don't think they had a locomotive. What they use compressed air for, I don't know. Alright. Huh. Well, there's not very much track. It only goes in a short ways, but it goes up to a whole bunch of places. So, I'm going to crawl in around there and check all these stopes out, eh? So I'm thinking it's probably an old mine that was maybe reworked in the 50s or 60s, maybe. 
because there's some newer stuff here. Hmm. Pretty warm in here. It's all right. It's a little chilly outside. I'm thinking this is probably a fairly rich little deposit, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Not very extensive, though. Hmm. Probably. Huh, interesting though. Looks nice. Be careful. Like I said, I don't really know what kind of mine this was. I thought it might seem some ore looked like silver ore to me, but huh. Yes. Yeah. Unless there's some surprises here, I don't know. It should be. It's a little skinny in here, as you can see. If it doesn't go into a war pass, that'd be a surprise. <laughs> I was hoping for a good surprise, not a bad one. This is another little branch. Doesn't seem to be very extensive. And there's another ore pass up here. Oh, and there's some mine cat shit in here. It'd be cool if we've seen a miner's cat. We haven't seen one since I was in Arizona with Gly. What the one in here? Okay, so we got couple pockets here. That looks like food back in here. Always I can see daylight here. Hmm. Yeah, scabby little mine so far. <laughs> okay. Cob down this end here. Not sure how this mine got his name, the big four. So far we're not seeing anything big. <laughs> Plus there was four big guys that found it or something, but so far it's a tiny four would be a better name for it. This little hoist here is an Ingersoll Rand hoist. So there's a label on it if you want to have a look at it. The Air Emco. Emco ones are more common than the Ingersoll Rand, but yeah. Pretty similar. So they would have had a compressor up here somewhere. And, uh, oh no, the air, the air hose is going down. So the compressor was at the bottom. So the bottom of that bin there, Sharon, there's a trail going to your, to your left. Heads to the top of the other bin where you came up. There, way down at the end of the road, that's where our truck was. And that's the trail that we took up to the to that big four mine you can see way up there so on the way by see the problem is with death valley you can't use your side by side at all which is ridiculous i mean you could drive a three ton truck up here but you can't take a little buggy um anyway so we found a cable uh going up the mountain and we found a net so i don't know what we're going to see here but let's have a look An attorney left this here. Some kind of a puzzle or something. The cover's been blown in the Mike November entity has found our crystallite operation. Recon partly eliminated but mine must be abandoned. Proceeding to fullback location. Foxtrot 7. <laughs> well, there's this puzzle you're supposed to do. It's supposed to tell you something. I don't know. There's a bunch of pieces missing, obviously. So there's no corner pieces, no more side pieces. So that's all I felt like doing. <laughs> all 
Hi everyone, thanks for joining us this week. We have a show every week, so we'll see you next week. Uh, check out our new merch page. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Music is by the Addits.